even know how long I've been working on this Costco sized bag of ruffles. Uh, it is Monday today. I am starting off the week having had a meeting with some fellow, I guess not meeting, but like a little chat with some fellow YouTuber gals. I'll link their channels below because they're all amazing creators. A lot of them talk about productivity and self-growth and um, also vlogs, so make sure you check them out. They're amazing creators from the Lower Mainland as well as our girl Sophia in the States. So we're worldwide, honey. Um, yeah, I'm just watching some YouTube. I've been sort of in a weird place with content, I think, these days. Um, I feel like I am being repetitive with my content. I mean, it's not like I'm doing the same activities in every single vlog but it's just like me with my friends being chaotic or me at home trying to be productive or just lounging around um i do very much enjoy those kind of vlogs myself but i wonder if sometimes if like you guys as viewers think it's kind of like mundane but i don't know i am in this creative rut i guess but that's okay I'll get past it, I'm sure. I do want to try out the whole vertical video trend that's happening these days, you know, with YouTube having shorts, Instagram reels, and like TikTok, of course. I'm not on TikTok um, because I am afraid of just falling into the TikTok black hole, as many of my peers have. But I mean, things are trendy for a reason, and I feel like I should probably check it out. Um, so maybe look out for some vertical video content because I might be pulling that out of somewhere soon. Otherwise, I'm just gonna snack a little bit, catch up on some Ashley Choi, and yeah, that's my evening. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more reading recently and it's actually a new hobby that I've come to enjoy a lot. With the amount of screen time I get each day, reading a book has been a great way to rest my eyes from all the blue light that I get. Um, actually, I've been reading non-fiction books and this is a new thing for me, but it allows me to tap into something in my mind instead of having to imagine uh, things in a fictional sense. Strangely enough, both this book and the last book that I read both surround the topic of death. And just, I guess, a quick trigger warning, but I do like to hear what people have to say towards the end of their lives, and I personally think it helps me tangibly consider how to appreciate aspects of my life more. Both of the books that I've read featured a person that had been diagnosed with a terminal illness. 
yet it was an extremely refreshing experience to hear them talk about it in a way that wasn't negative. They took their diagnosis in stride, and they never allowed it to define them as an individual. Rather, they still pursued the aspects of their life that they were most passionate about, and it actually allowed them to learn what their priorities were and to truly appreciate the time that they had doing things that they loved the most.